I'm Freya and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to, it's going to be two videos actually filming because um, here I am today. Um, I've unboxed my May figure and then I will also in a, another recording show off my Pokemon collection what, once, I, once I film it and then I'll do vo voiceover and all that stuff. But I, I am so excited to show you. I love my Pokemon collection. I love the artwork I have and the figures I have. So I'm so excited to show you and I'm so excited to add May to it. So thank you so much for watching and enjoy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just, let me just, oh my god, my hair is somehow, my hair is everywhere. There we go. What? Oh, oh, oh. 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 There we go. <laughs> She's so cute. The Pokemon nerd inside me is screaming i'm so i love torchic so much i love may she looks you know like all the other kotobukiya pokemon figures she looks fantastic i actually prefer this one over the version that has her with mudkip although that version would be nice to have if they ever re-release it because her aftermarket price is kind of nuts as like all of the other kotobukiya pokemon trainer <laughs> figures But I am so happy I pre-ordered her. I'll just, oh, she's, she looks good. It's so, like, it's hard to mess up. I feel the Pokemon, I mean, Mega House has made some kind of debatable Pokemon figures, it, um, for sure. But Kotobukiya does a fantastic job. I love, I love their Pokemon trainer set so much. You're going to see a bunch of them um, once I add her to the rest because that's the my plan is to next film talking about my Pokemon collection. I love oh my god, Torchic is like he's a little angry. A little his little angry eyes. So intimidating. You're mocking me, aren't you? Oh, I love all oh, the Pokeball looks so good. I just I love the colors. The base is kind of like some of the bases have a bit more matte to them, but this is kind of a bit more of a metallic, which is kind of cool. I've noticed the last few, there's a few metallic bases. I'm so happy to have her. I was so excited and it's beautiful that she May day came out in the month of May. It all worked. I'm just super 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 happy to have her and add to my collection. I I adore this series. I love Pokemon so much. I grew up with it and I will continue to collect it. Pokemon has a hold on my soul and I'm not willing to fight them on it. They can have it. Thank you, Kotobukiya and Pokemon for bringing this to life. She looks so good. I'm so happy with her for the price she is, especially like I think she's a great figure to pick up. If you're into Pokemon, I would definitely pick her up while you can because you see major spikes in aftermarket prices when it comes to this figure set. And I think May and Torchic are so popular that it'll go up quite quickly. 
Um, but yes, I I think it looks great. It's a great addition to the line, and I'm super super happy that she's here. Looking looking forward to what else they bring out. I know they're doing. We've heard about some re-releases -re and some new ones. I'm very excited, but I lo also look forward to adding her to my collection, my Pokemon figure collection, and showing you my Pokemon figure collection. <laughs> All right. So I have been a Pokemon fan since I was a young, young child playing Pokemon Puzzle League on the Nintendo 64. It, that probably was my first experience. Uh, it's hard to tell. Childhood memories are very muddled, but I distinctly remember Pokemon Puzzle League, watching the Pokemon show on YTV, the Indigo League, of course, with the rice balls, the donut rice balls. Um, I my first I think my first uh, game that I played on a handheld was uh, Pokemon Crystal on the Game Boy Color and then I later played got to play uh, Pokemon Red uh, my favorite games are Sun and Moon Soul Silver Crystal Pokemon Red and I'm gonna add Arceus to the list I'm really Arceus Arceus however you want to say it but I grew up loving Pokemon. I still love Pokemon as an adult. It holds, it's got a hold on me for sure. And over the past few years, I have built a little uh, Pokemon figurine collection. <laughs> That's, when I think about how much it costs, it kind of, it kind of hurts. And I know that my parents would uh, absolutely judge me along with the rest of my family. But you know what? The money's been spent. It's too late now. And you know what? It makes me happy. Right? It makes me happy. So let's just get started. I have a, um, I believe it's a Rudsta from Ikea. Um, I think I really like the Rudsta a lot. The only thing I don't like about it is that the doors close. There's like the, there's like the two doors and they close the middle and so you have this kind of like black line there so that kind of sucks but it is still a nice display case with lots of room so I really enjoy it and I love being able to like just magnetize like art to the back of it just to give it that little extra that little extra oomph so on the top I keep my Pokemon Terraniums from Rement they come out with them very often so there's a bunch out there the quality is not great because they are um Oh, what are those things those randomized things you, like you you buy a box for X amount and you hope to get something you want I believe if you buy it by box it kind of is around kind of like a four dollar type thing but I get the, the set so I'm able to get um, all of them in the in that little collection plus sometimes some extras that I can give to friends but yeah just I think they're just like a cute little touch some of them are better than others, but I really enjoy them. Um, there's lots of different ones to choose from. I recently picked up one with like Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, Vulpix. Of course, Pikachu has to sneak into every, you know, Pikachu has like FOMO or something. They, Pikachu has to be involved in like everything that they come out with, it feels. So there's always like, you always get a Terranium with Pikachu somehow, somehow in there. But you know, it's still, they're still very cute because he's normally there with like another Pokemon. Oh, and I also have my, uh, my, <laughs> my Ash Ketchum Nendoroid. I was, I was able to get him for a decent price off of the pre-owned Amiami last year. And so I was happy to add him to my little collection. I really love the Torchic. Torchic super cute. And the Sylveon, of course, is my favorite. And I think the Emolga is really, really cute. So those are my those are my little Pokemon Terraniums, or at least most of them I've put up there. There are like a few kind of sprinkled throughout my collection. Next, I just want to like, I would love to show the art that I've I've kind of just picked up in the last month because I wanted I wanted a little something more for my collection to and I ended up finding art on Etsy from Stephology and Teletello. 
um, local artists actually, um, I believe they're in BC, so you know, Canadian artists, so it was really cool. And I just loved, loved their artwork so much. Stephology has this really cute of Cerulean City with some of the Pokemon kind of staggered without, and she had like, th that shop has such cute stickers with the different types. There's a ghost type, fairy type, the water type, like the starter water types, I should say, the starter fire types and the starter green, uh, leaf, green, leaf, grass. I had the word, it was there. And then um, the circle with the evolutions and a circle of like the Pikachu evolutions. Oh, like they're all, they're so cute. I don't wanna use them as stickers right now. So I'm trying to like, I'll find a better way to magnet them. But for now, like that's just kind of how they're sitting. I think they're adorable. I love the art styles so much. I'm looking forward to what other stuff this, the store comes out with because I would love to get more of like, they also have a Palette Town um, print and I would love to see more of uh, the town art art prints would be really, really cool. So I'm really looking forward. And they also have some really cute Legend of Zelda and Sailor Moon stuff as well. So yes, yeah, Stephology Shop, if you're, if you're interested, I will link and so you can check them out for yourself. The other artwork I have is by an artist called Teletello and they have this cute, like they have these cute Polaroid-esque photos of a lot of the starters of them is like, like their first evolution and then like it'll date them at the bottom for a few years later to taking them a picture of their final evolution. It's adorable. It's such a cute idea. I wasn't able to grab all of them, but I was able to grab a few and I think my favorite has to be the, the Squirtle Squad is one of the best things to come out of Pokemon. I love it. So, it's, it's so amazing. S Squirtles and sunglasses. Thank you to whoever was like, yes, the Squirtle Squad. It's a thing. So thank you. I also really love the Cyndaquil with the, the Lugia plushie is very, very cute. And again, like the Bulbasaur with the with the bul with the with the Bulbasaur plushie is really really cute. But I also really enjoy they have this take on Studio Ghibli slash Pokemon. So they have a print with Gengar and other ghost types um, with like Spirited Away, like the scene with the Chihiro on the train with No Face, and they also have uh, Misty with Water Pokemon slash like Ponyo that scene where she's like running on the waves. And the other one is Kiki's Delivery Service, and you have all these like like the Pokemon trainers like leaning in, and you have the a bunch of different grass type Pokemon. I I wish again I'm, I'm looking forward to see what else they do if they do any more um, Studio Ghibli stuff slash Pokemon. Would love to see that. Before we get into the um, figures, I would love to talk about some of like the other little figurines I have on the second shelf. So one of the things I got is, so at, I think it's Esky, they do these paper theater things that you're able to put put together, put together yourself, little glue, tweezers, and it's kind of a fun little project. I was able to do the Pokemon one while I was watching, um, like it took me two episodes of Stranger Things, I believe, to get it done. But yeah, I really enjoyed it and I have a few more that I'm gonna do. Um, so I look forward to doing those. And yeah, it just adds a little, little, adds a little something extra. Also from the same company that does the Pokemon Traniums, I have this um, set where Pokemon are sitting on logs, I think is really sweet. I especially love the Rowlet ones because I love, I love that owl Pokemon. It's so sweet. And again, of course, Pokemon Pikachu has to work, work their way in there no matter what. Um, another set I really like from Rement is this water set they have which i think is really sweet with all the different water pokemon and it's kind of just like a cool idea you can set them up differently um you can set them on the line or you can set them three by three i am i'm supposed to have like six in total but the other two are hanging out somewhere else but yes, I really I think that's a really cool and I wish they would do more stuff like that. I haven't seen them do it yet, but hopefully they'll do something else like it. Also from Rement, I have this um, tree with different kind of fairy Pokemon, fairy and dark and like other just kind of very mis 
a very mystical looking pink tree. I especially love Umbreon on it and Galarian Ponyta. I need more of Galarian Ponyta. I love, I love that little horse. So I missed out on getting a lot of those and I haven't seen them come up with a new one. <laughs> so I'm, I'm hoping there was this autumn one I really was really sad I missed out on. And oh well, maybe maybe one day I'll be able to get my hands on it. Um, these little Pikachu's I have are from the Pokemon Center. I especially I there are like a few really cute ones, but I decided to pick up the Pikachu with the pancakes, the Pikachu with the love letter, and then sad Pikachu with the ice cream falling on the ground. There are some really cute ones though, so if you're interested, and I think they're like 20 bucks, 20 Canadian bucks, so if you're American, you probably get it for a lot cheaper. All right, we've covered kind of the smaller stuff, so let's get into the figures I have from Pokemon. There are many, many um, Kotobukiya Pokemon trainer figures. I do not have them all. They are very tough to get in the aftermarket but I am very happy with the ones I do have. I have also have some Pokemon Center um, exclusive ones. It's really cool to have. So yeah, I will, I'll do, I'll tell you about some of my favorites, but first I'll just like go over what, it, um, which ones I have. So on the fourth far side, I have Serena from Pokemon Y and X with Fennekin. I really love this character design and I love fox type Pokemon so I thought she was so cute and I was able to get her before her aftermarket price like whoo went up. Very cute. Then next to her I have Red with Charmander and then in the back there I have May that just came out with Torchic. You can't see her in this shot but you'll be able to you, Either this is going to be after the unboxing or before. We'll see. Then, next we have Marnie or May Mary from Pokemon Sword and Shield with more Peko right next to Gloria with Swabble. I had to think. Sobble? <laughs> it's not my... F it was... Sword and Shield was not my favorite. It's far from a favorite game of mine, so... I'm not as familiar with the starters, but I'm always like, it's either Swabble or Sobble. One of the two. Then, we have Lily from Pokemon Sun and Moon with Cosmog. And then next, also from Pokemon Sun and Moon, we have Celine with Rowlet. One of my favorites. I love Rowlet. I love Celine. Love Pokemon Sun and Moon. So, of course, this is one of my favorite uh, Pokemon figures. Then in the front, we have Dawn from Pokemon Pearl and Diamond with Piplup very cute figure I, I hope i hope that like i know she's very popular so i hope she gets a re-release or something because i want i would love other people to have her as well and then in the back we have the pokemon gym leader Lisa from pokemon this is her pokemon white and black 2 uh, design i believe then on the bottom we have the um, the mega house pokemon figures i own i have the snorlax one that i have up on a stand because Laying flat, flat down, you don't really get, it's hard to see what's going on. So I do have them in a bit of a stand, so you're able to see the figure better. Then next, we have the watertight Mega House figure, which came out just, I want to say, late last year. And then next to that, oh, sorry, in the middle we also have. Then we have the Evolutions one in front between the watertight one and the Snorlax one. And then next we have the electric type that Mega House did. I really wish I could have the Gengar, the ghost type one, but the aftermarket price is wild, so maybe a re-release or maybe I'll just get lucky. We'll see, we'll see. I just wanted to give a more detailed look at some of my favorites because I'm not gonna do all of them, but I am just gonna tell you what my favorites are and, and show them off a little bit more. I'm going to start with Dawn from Pokemon Pearl Diamond. This is such a cute figure. I think they got her. Her design is so cute. And Piplup holding up a little, like a little, so, so adorable, so cute. While 
Pearl Diamond was not my favorite game. I always really enjoyed Dawn's design and the starter Pokemon were very, very cute. It was a penguin type. I'm a fan of, I'm a fan of pushy, pushy, pushy penguins. Like, so cute. I do think, and I love her base with the pink, with the, the pink Pokeball. Um, the only problem with this figure is Piplup is kind of unsteady. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it falls, I like to see you wiggle wiggle. So poor Piplup has fallen a lot, and that's the problem with a lot of these Kotobukiya um, trainer figures as well. Like, the trainer is, like, stuck on that base, like, they do that for you, there's no assembly required. The Pokemon to have nowhere to actually be, like, you kind of could just place them wherever, but there's no way to actually secure them to the base. So my Piplup has fallen along with my Charmander from the Red. Like they've fallen quite a bit and it would be nice if they had like kind of like a magnet or something to stick them just a bit more securely, but you know, it's not too bad. So another one of my favorites is Lisa, I think, and with um, like with Amolga such a cool design i love the slanted pokeball with the like the electric effect coming out she was a bit of a pain to put together but when i was finally done putting her together it was so worth it she's so cool i would love to see more gym leaders please do cool designs of the gym leaders like this is her yeah this is her black white 2 design i believe and it's she looks she's just she's so cool i love her Pokemon Sun and Moon. It's my favorite and I love this design. She's so happy. Her little watermelon bag. I believe it's a water. Could be an orange slice. Anyway, super cute. And Rowlet looks awesome. A little like, a little windswept, little leaf design. They look so happy. They just look like they're having a great time. A great team. And again, it's nice having like a, a grass type because there are so many fire types which I'm not mad at I like the fire types but it's just a little much you know it's a, let's get some let's get some variety yes, this is she is one of my she is easily one of my favorites love 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 her my other figure from Pokemon Sun and Moon Lily and Cosmog this was a Pokemon Center exclusive original figure and she's crazy expensive on the aftermarket, but she is such a cute figure. All of Lily's figures are very, very um, expensive aftermarket wise. I would love to have some more, but you know, I'm happy. I'm very happy to have the one. But I think they just did it. They did a great job with like her clothes look really nice. Her facial expression, like just like the, the motion of the hair, all of it looks really, really nice. And she looks so sweet. This is a figure I didn't, I got pretty recently, but she's easily one of my favorites. I love her design. And Morpeko looks so cute hanging off her backpack. Such a cool figure. She's another Pokemon Center original. Um, Max Factory actually did this one. And they did a great job. And I would love to, I would love Max, I would love to see what else Max Factory will do again please i would yeah i'd love to see more characters from the shows other than the protagonists that we get to see in games and along with gym leaders it would be really nice i really appreciate it but yeah her design's super cool easily she, she quickly became one of my favorite pokemon figures and i do have another video of her unboxing um if you want to check that out i think it was the May? April? It was some, it was a month that had an unboxing. How about that? <laughs> Go for it. This is a tough, so this is a bit of a tough one. While it, it, only reason it's my favorite is because it is the evolutions, but mega house, mega house, mega house. Look at all the fucking seam lines. There's so many. Like, it's a really cute figure. I love all of them. They're all very sweet. It just, it's just all the seam lines. Mega House. Come on. Come on. Ugh. God damn it. But still, of course, because I'm a sucker for the evolutions, it's still one of my favorites. But it does have a lot of seam lines, which is uh, very disappointing. A 
so this is the Snorlax with, we got Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Pikachu, Ash, and then Jigglypuff has sang them all to sleep. They're probably about to get markers put on their face, but I love, I do enjoy this figure. It just sucks that because it's like a laying down, so I have like the stand to put it up on to display it kind of a bit better, but really cool. It's surprisingly light. Like if you think it'd be heavy, but it's like super, like it's, it's hot. That Snorlax is definitely hollow, which is probably a good thing, but it's, it's a cool figure. I got this kind of on a whim, but I I thought it was quite cute, and I actually liked it a lot better in person than I did when I bought it. I was able to get it for, like, not, I don't think it's very expensive in the aftermarket, but it's still a pretty cool figure. Ampharos is really, really cool, and I love, like, Ampharos' like, shocked expression. And everyone looks so you know what it was a really funny thing when i was looking up this figure though i did not know the japanese name for magnemite <laughs> and i just gotta i just gotta i think that the japanese name is um coil <laughs> and for some reason that just made me laugh it was i was like it's kind of cute then my favorite of the mega house gem x line is easily the water type. I think they did a fantastic job. It looks great. Totodile does not get enough love. Vaporeon in the center looks great. You have Mudkip hanging out at the top. Horsey, little, little cute little, and then a whooper. And Mar like Meryl, all of them are so adorable. I love the little pops of color on like the anemones in on the stones. This just makes me really excited because I want them to do other type figures like this. You are, I do see some seam lines, of course, but it's not nearly as bad as the Evolutions one or even like the Snorlax one has quite a few seam lines and it's just like, oh, like it seems like they're getting better because some of the earlier Mega House Gem X Pokemon figures are just not very, like they have a Mew, a Mew and a Mewtwo one, they have a Lugia and a Ho-Ho one. They're just not, I would love to have, like, I'd love to have them just for like, oh, it'd be cool to have them, but like, they're just not that good looking. And they are doing another one um, that I'm not interested in. So that's so I just, I what I have in my collection. It's nothing too impressive, but, oh, I also have, you might be seeing on the bottom, I also have like the Funko EV Evolutions and they're pretty cute. They don't really fit together that well. Um, it's kind of like weird to put them together sometime, but they were, I got them from the Pokemon Center and they were like, they're Funko, like they're from the Funko company. Uh, so they weren't too expensive, but they're kind of cool to have. I actually might like them more than, like if they, I, like if it was more of like a, all to like able to like piece them together better, I probably would like it more than like the Mega House one. So that's it for my Pokemon collection. Um, I've told you like my like my wishes for figures that are already out there, but I think I would love to see more gym leaders. Especially, I would love a Koga figure. I don't even care which of his Pokemon they put him with. I just think Koga has such a cool design. So I would love to see him in a good like Kotobukiya or Max Factory do do him do him good. I would also love a Jesse and James figure. I know Mega House has one, but it just looks odd. There's something up with their faces. So I'm just not getting those and hoping that maybe we get to see like a better Team Rocket down the road. I'm crossing my fingers and just kind of hoping. Also would love to see the Arceus clan leaders in figure form especially Adamant would like it would just like I love that I love that design so much would love to see it uh who else who else would I be am I dying for who else would I really really enjoy hmm hmm I don't know there's some pretty cool designs out there Nessa Ooh. again I wasn't a huge fan of Sword and Shield but I would love a Nessa figure she's badass I would love a good I know like they did I think was it Kotobukiya with a, another with a Pokemon Center. They did a Leon. 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 
I might have picked it up had it not been for how many seam lines Charizard has. Jesus, they really did his Charizard dirty with how many fucking seam lines they put on that figure. And it's not cheap. Like, it's not a cheap figure at all. So I think that's kind of bullshit of them. I think they, I, I believe they could have done a better job with how much they were asking for it. So that was like a letdown. And oh, and in terms of the mega house with their, what they're kind of doing with like the, the, the ghost type, electric type, water type. I really hope they keep going with that. I, I would love to see the other Pokemon types, especially. I think what would, what would my favorites be? I think I'd love to see like fairy. I'd love to see, I don't know, I'd like to see a dark type. I know they did ghost, but some dark's the horn. I'd like to do, yeah, like fairy, dark type, and a grass type with like that theme that they have with the other ones. I would, I really hope we get to see more of those in the future because I think they did such a great job, job with the electric and the water type, so, and the ghost type, but thank you, thank you so much for watching and Oh my goodness, I cannot believe that we're past 300 subs. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And, oh, guess what I have? And um, I have a few things in the mail that should that should be here soonish. We'll see. So yes, stay tuned. We've always got lots of good stuff. Hopefully good stuff coming. You know what? We'll see. We'll see. There's one There's one figure I'm really nervous about one of the boxes that might not be very good. But we'll see. We'll see. Oh God, we'll see. All right. Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And goodbye.